In 2003, war broke out in Sudan. The Darfur genocide claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands. Fleeing death and persecution, many headed for the modern state of Israel, believing they would find refuge in the only proclaimed democratic state in the so-called Middle East. The welcome they anticipated was shattered on their arrival. This documentary tells the story of Sudanese asylum seekers in Israel, their experiences, complications, their sorrows and struggles. And of course, just we have part here, Israel, nine years. We're living without any humanity. We truly heard about it, Israel. Israel is a democratic country, it's Middle East. You know, always they are talking in the media, Israel is the democratic, Israel is the democratic. But what we see inside in Israel, this is something unreal. Just they're talking in the media, there, Israel is democratic, but we don't see democratic in Israel. We came here in Israel, went to, to get um, get our freedom and went to get human rights, like other people. So that's why we're here in Israel and we are unlucky. We never got nothing. Israeli citizens, maybe is, uh, some of them they understand, some of them don't understand. But Israel, the government know everything, who we are and why we know want to go back. Your experiences in Sudan that led you to leave and come to Israel? And of course, since 2003, on 15 of May 2003, uh, the war began in genocide, conflict between government and citizens. And without reason, they come attacked us, our villages have been destroyed by the jet up, very carrying is very heavy in weapons, and Janjaweed, Ross, Red, and horses come attack in our villages and have been killed a lot, members of family. They literally said, like, if you go back to the Sudan, you'll be killed. Yes, the government mentioned it. And also, it's written in our password. It says, all over the world, all over the world, but not Israel. It's written. It's written in our, our password. So in your passport you have it says yes. don't go to Israel. All over the world but not Israel. Okay. After ten years, when you go back, the government should kill you. That's the government said it. As well as I want to stay in Israel. I didn't want to go back in Sudan. Well that's a, that's that's definitely scary. You're saying if you go back to Sudan, your life will go to take. Yes. Immigration took me by their bus to Tel Aviv and they drove with me there in the, the garden called Lebanese Park near the bus station. So and they said that this is your home, you have to stay here now. So and just they drove with me there and they went back. So I found myself in, you know, a, between many African people whom are suffering, so suffering and so a torment there in the, that uh, garden. And then so uh, at that time, you know, I didn't, you know, have any uh, pocket money or something to, you know, uh, do myself. And I asked them before they leave me, so uh, I said that I don't have money, so I don't have nothing, so how I can stay here? So you, you said that this is your home, the, the parking or the garden cannot be my home. And they said that uh, we don't care about that, so just we, you know, took you there, uh, here, and you have to stay here. Uh, we don't have to, you know, give you nothing. And this is your home, and you, as you see, you are all, you know, uh, African people here in this garden. So, and I said, okay, so I don't have, you know, any choice to do. So, and they left with me there, so, and I stayed with, you know, uh, with those people whom are living there in that garden. The way how we are to, uh, we're facing uh, difficulties and we're facing every, every single day we're facing, this is not... Uh, democratic country. A democratic country, they are not supposed to treat people like this. And they really treating us badly. And we never give up. And we still struggle in, until we get our rights. Israel people saying, yes, this is Israel. This belongs to Israel people. It belongs to you. So people who know you, know, you, you don't care about it. Because I'm truly sure that because you are black, so that's why 
is they keep against us because others like Arab white people, how thousands of Arab white people is staying here, they accept the refuge or asylum seeker or like immigrants, they accept them.